listen to the JT Sports Podcast on all podcasting platforms and leave a five-star review. Clemson escaped Syracuse, defeating the Orange 27-21. Dabble Sweeney and company are really fortunate to be walking out of this game still undefeated because Syracuse played a hell of a game. And I was really surprised at how close this game was because I thought that Clemson was going to win this game and they were going to win big. And not because I thought Syracuse was a bad team, but I didn't know how Syracuse was going to be able to keep this game competitive going against the fourth quarter. But you know the way they were able to actually keep this game competitive was because of their defense. Their defense had four takeaways. They got some key stops in the red zone. They had that big scoop and score in the red zone. That fumble that they scooped up and took all the way to the house for a touchdown. That was huge. And not to mention, Syracuse went into halftime with a 21 to 10 lead. Clemson just came into this game flat. DJ Uyungle has had a pretty good season prior to this game. But in this game, he looked like the DJ that we saw back in 2021. He was struggling to complete passes downfield accurately. He was making bad decisions. And it's just like, it kind of felt as if he was pressing. The simple things he was starting to overcomplicate. And it's kind of evident because once K. Kubnick came in, it was a different offense. And it's not like Kubnick came in and he was throwing the rock all over the field. I mean, he came in and he was just handing the football off. Clemson had 293 yards rushing on the ground they were averaging nearly five yards per carry every time they ran the football and when you look at how club net played i mean i can't really judge fairly because we only have a small sample size to go off and plus he wasn't asked to do all that much now Dabble sweeney came out after the game and confirmed that dj is going to be the starter next week but if dj uyongale would have came out and didn't have the kind of performance that he had, Clemson would have blew out Syracuse. Like, if you watch this game, Clemson was really beating themselves. They were handing Syracuse gifts. Now, that's not to take away anything from Syracuse because, I mean, Syracuse did what they had to do. They forced the turnovers, and they actually were able to cash in on a couple of those opportunities. But... In the second half of this game, I think that's where you started to see the gap in talent between Clemson and Syracuse start to show itself. Because in the first half of this game, Syracuse offense was pretty effective. In the second half, they punted on pretty much every single possession. On offense, they couldn't get anything going. Clemson's defense put the clamps on in the second half. And you got to give a lot of credit to Dabo Sweeney and this staff finding a way to win this game. Because although Clemson was the better team, and some people may not have doubted Clemson winning this game, because me, even when they were down 21 to 10, I still had a strong feeling that they were going to win this game. Now, that was partially due to the fact that I had Clemson on my parlay, minus 14, and they didn't cover that. So that was another reason why I kept telling myself, oh, Clemson still has a chance to win this thing because it's like, when you put money on these games and the team that you put money on is down big, of course you're going to keep telling yourself, oh, yeah, they're going to come down because you don't want to accept the loss at that point. You get what I'm saying? So... You look at Syracuse defense, they get takeaways, and then their offense comes out and pretty much doesn't really do anything with it. There was a interception that DJ Uyungle had, and this was on a 14-play drive that was pretty much 
going into Syracuse territory. And when it looked like Clemson was really about to start rolling, DJ, U- DJ Uyongle threw that interception. And that's kind of when Syracuse really started to get a good amount of momentum on their side. And their defense was playing well at that moment. And Clemson really didn't have anything offensively that they could do to have success at that point. And then in the second half, with the benching of DJ Uyongale putting in the true freshman, the fact that you were able to run the ball so effectively shows you just how good of a team Clemson actually is. Clemson turned the football over four times in this game, and yet they still won. That's crazy. They had four turnovers in this game, and they still had several opportunities to win this game by two possessions. I think with Clemson, they needed a game where they got battle-tested. They needed a game that was really going to push them. And this was that game because I don't really think too many people expected Syracuse to lose to Clemson by only one possession. And I know that Syracuse has played Clemson close in the past, but this Clemson team has been really good this year and their defensive line has been outstanding. But when you look at Syracuse, you know, They were able to hang around, but they weren't able to capitalize off their opportunities in the second half. You know, you get stops and you end up having to punt after them. And then on top of that, you get turnovers and you can't capitalize or convert those into points. Syracuse just needed a little bit more from their offense in the second half. I think if Syracuse could have at least scored... 10 points during the third or fourth quarter, just put up 10 points somewhere during the second half, they probably could have won this game. Because if Clemson would have been put in a situation where they had to drive down the field to win the game, okay, Club Nick, I don't think they would have won. And not to mention, Syracuse defense was playing very well With a couple of key starters out. So I am really impressed with how Syracuse played in this game. Honestly, I was really sleeping on this team. I didn't think their win against NC State was all that impressive. And then you look at their game against Purdue. You know, it's just that when you looked at Syracuse schedule, you just never really felt as if they legitimately had a chance at pulling the upset off. And some people probably considered this to be a trap game, but I didn't. Because for me to view a potential matchup as a trap game, the team that is the underdog going into that matchup has to have a certain strength about their team that they can go ahead and use and f- try to find the weakness. Syracuse's strength was forcing turnovers. And the thing with Clemson was that their weakness was DJ Uyungle. And once they got him out of the game, everything was pretty much smooth sailing. So that makes me wonder, if DJ Uyungle wasn't the starter in this game, and the other quarterback was, would Clemson have covered? I think they would have. Because they weren't really doing anything crazy on offense. They were running the football. They were, you know, throwing the football here and there. But Clemson's offense mostly ran through Will Shipley in the run game. And if Clemson is going to continue to have success moving forward, it's going to be with the run game. Now, they do run DJ Uyungle a good amount with the quarterback run and everything that they do with the read options and whatnot. 
But I kind of feel like, you know, with DJ Uyangale, in certain situations, you got to kind of try to reel him back in. You got to try to regather his composure. And I don't think that Clemson did a really good job of that in this game. Anytime through an interception, I didn't see them try to ease him back into things. I didn't try. I didn't see them try to get him back into rhythm, give him a couple of three, four easy throws, and then try to throw something downfield. So I think that the coaching staff was a little bit ear prepared for this matchup. I don't think anybody expected Syracuse defense to be as good as what it was in this game. I mean, Clemson's offense has been pretty solid this year. So I think it's a testament to how good Syracuse defense actually was. So Syracuse can't pull off the upset against Clemson. They fall short 21-7. Clemson improves to 8-0 on the season. But I still view Clemson as one of the best four teams in college football. Despite having a disappointing performance in their win, they found a way to get the win. And that's what you look for in the best teams in college football. You see, what makes it so hard to be the Alabama or Ohio State or Clemson or Georgia is the fact that they have multiple ways to win. It's, it's like they just find ways to position themselves to win. And for Syracuse, they didn't take the game from Clemson. You got to take the victory from Clemson. You feel me? You got to take the victory from Alabama. You got to grab it. You just don't go take it. You got to you gotta really take it. And for Syracuse, when they needed those big plays to really take this game, they couldn't do it. So... Let me know how you guys feel about this game down in the comment section down below. I can't believe that Clemson really did not cover. That's crazy.